Hi, in this video we'd like to clear up some misconceptions that are uh, commonly spread regarding uterine malformations, specifically septate uterus or arcuate uterus, which are both the same things. Now, many patients when they come inquire with us, they will say that their own doctors tell them that arcuate uterus or septic uterus poses no risk, no threat, and does not require any treatment regarding if they want to go for pregnancy. They believe that it won't affect the pregnancy journey, it will be completely healthy, normal, safe, and there will be any no, no complications, and it won't even affect the labor process. Now, we'd like to make a clear distinction here because uh, at Atai Hospital, we've had two decades of experience and uh, observation of uh, women. The most common cause of a uh, recurrent miscarriage, besides the immunological factor, is directly the uterine malformation, which is septate uterus being the most common one amongst all uterine malformations. Now, uterine malformations, they will lead to miscarriages because of the tissue composition imbalance. Now, septic uterus may be the most mild version of the uterine malformations because there are other much more severe ones, for example, biconuate, didelphis, uniconuate, rudimentary horn, all of these are much more severe than arcuate and, uh, or septic. However, they post the same risk of a potential miscarriage, especially in the first trimester or the second trimester. It is considered a high-risk pregnancy here at the hospital. So we want you to take it seriously. Just because you didn't miscarry in the previous pregnancy doesn't mean that it wasn't high risk. It doesn't mean it won't happen. At Atta Hospital, what we emphasize is the prevention and treatment of recurrent miscarriage. And we have clearly identified that arcuate and septate can clearly cause a miscarriage. And whenever we diagnose our patients with the presence of these types of uh, uterine malformation, then we will ask them to go for a preventive treatment to fix the uterine shape and size. Now you can choose to not go for this treatment, but we will still be providing it for people who want to have this treatment, who want to have a safe, um, no risk of any potential miscarriage. They can go for this treatment and then they can enjoy the benefits of it. Although you can choose not to go for it, then you will need to bear the risk of a potential miscarriage or some form of pregnancy loss that may be caused. Now we understand that arcuate or septate because of the tissue imbalance it affects the uterine blood flow so when a uh, embryo is implanted inside this type of uterus it will receive less than optimal blood flow. If it's implanted directly on the septate then it can even speed up the uh, pregnancy loss process and eventually because of the lack of blood flow, the lack of nutrients, the lack of oxygen and uh, glucose not to say a lack of, it's just significantly lower because these types of uterus have a different amount of blood vessels as well compared to healthy pear-shaped uterus. So these types of pregnancy are high risk and some women will see a uh, successful uh, labour. However, these pregnancies, these fetus that are born, they are uh, coming out with some form of deficiency, abnormality because of the lack of blood flow throughout the nine months of pregnancy, they're not getting the most optimal amount, which is why treatment is still necessary. And at the hospital, we offer you a full contractual treatment with a full refund guarantee, uh, uterine corrective surgery, where we can easily correct your uterus shape, easily diagnose this problem before going for pregnancy. And we will be using our anti-techniques or anti-expertise to ensure that you have a successful, healthy pregnancy with no risk of any miscarriage. So do get in touch with us if you'd like to find out more information. If you have your own opinions as well, we can have a healthy discussion via consultation and uh, we look forward to helping you.